Oh, what do you do today? I'm just cleaning my roof. Like everyone else. Good morning, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. And yes, this is a carrot. Probably should have washed this before I actually ate it, but I don't care. So, update on my life right now. I was in Taipei uh, for a couple of days. Didn't do that much, but I'm still going to go back to Taipei next week. Now I'm in Hualin, 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 in the East Coast. So I'm actually had to shake out from my hostel to actually find a new hostel because I couldn't extend my stay over there. Because right now it is uh, some kind of holiday, the whole Taiwan, so now everyone goes back to their cities. And um, tried to find a hostel for two hours. I finally found one which I'm actually going to right now. Can't find a hostel for tomorrow. Uh, barely find one in the next city I'm going to. I had to pay like 400% more than normal price. So my whole trip that I actually was planning to do had to be canceled due of the hostel stay because I can't find any hostels anywhere. So now I have to plan through my hostels pretty much. Uh, so I, to be honest actually, I've been tindering and uh, bumbling uh, to find uh, a girl that I can actually stay at. Uh, and in the next city I actually found one girl. It's all about saving money, man. It's a backpacking life. Make sure to, before I start the vlog, I actually just started. So make sure to check out my video I posted on uh, how to travel during holidays in every country because I've been through a lot in these countries. Even though I only been to four, yeah, Mexico I was that was the fifth, of course, but it wasn't a holiday over there. Uh, yeah, so make sure to check out that video. Let's skip this, turn it off, and uh, go to the hostel I'm gonna stay in for the night. And probably tomorrow I'm gonna sleep on the beach. In worst case, if I can't find a hostel, but hey, at least it's warm outside. Let's go. Do you feel that I'm your missing part? That you're finally right. Try to call them and see if they're here, but no one answered when I clicking the button. Nope. And after checking on the hostel, after waiting for a while, uh, there was no one in the hostel but me and another dude. And so I asked him like, "Hey man, do you have a hostel? Do you have a do you have a bed for tomorrow?" He was like, "No." I was like, uh, "Okay." Then I just, yeah, I left my bag and everything. And after like five minutes. He's like, yeah, I found one bed that you can take. So, I solved my problems. I actually have a bed for tomorrow too. And I didn't knew this, but I got a bicycle for free rental. So now I can bike around the city and explore shit. So I'm actually on the way down to the beach right now. Try to fly, fly the drone a little bit. Oh boy! If I actually can do that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna maybe take a dip or something. If it's warm. And it's actually a beach. So uh, let's try to see and explore what Huelin have today. Or, yeah, what they have. Oh, shit. Sweetheart. Tell my sweetheart. So I am. Oh my god. There we go, Simon. I look cooler with the hat, back and forth. I don't know what's happening over there now. Maybe it honked on me. No, I guess not. I'm just uh, walking my bicycle on the hunt to uh, somewhere. I don't know what's happening here right now. Yeah, you can do it like that too. Like I said, I'm on the hunt to find a good drone spot over here. If I can't find it, I'm just gonna look for something else. Yeah. This looks like a not so good spot, but uh, it's fucking rocks everywhere, so... Uh, ah, let's launch it from here and see what we can do, otherwise uh, we are switching place, uh, or if I actually can before the rain comes. Let's do this! So apparently I have to update the drone before I actually fly off, and uh, the longer it takes, the higher up the waves actually come near me and it feels like they're gonna hit me soon 
and uh, probably should just uh, pack up the drone and leave before I got sucked into the waves. Maybe it doesn't look that far, but uh, trust me, it's, uh, it's like three meters. I think I'm moving. <laughs> I'm at the next location. Now I'm just gonna find a rock to launch it from. I think this is the spot. I think. In LA, 24 twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on. Will shop full of art. All dreams dying hard. We want you to return this love. That was Dong Damen Night Market. This is a place you should definitely go to if you're visiting Hualin in the east coast in Taiwan. I thought it was only food over here, but it was way more than I actually expected. They have a Tivoli, they have a, uh, how do you say, you can climb up a wall. Uh, they have uh, a lot of food places, games for children, uh, and grown-ups of course. The market over there, market over there. They have this lawn in the middle. Uh, chill food over there and you have food over there they even got uh, live music also so uh, if you want to listen to some girl or guy sing right now for example down here uh, it's actually a live performance right now over there so uh, you can be here all night it's uh, only 6 p.m. it's uh, way more people I think uh, during uh, 9 or 10 p.m. so you should definitely go here but now I'm gonna go home because the market is open soon or opening soon and the market is dropping hard so you can make a lot of money on the way down for those people that don't understand that look into how to short stocks or overall market because if the market is dropping you make more money and quicker money than on the way up the people that actually know how to short they make a lot of money while people actually lose their money. Be a day trader, take the meter on a move, aim for $100, $2,000 every day, do that every day, and you got either $2,000 a month or you got $20,000 a month, which covers a lot of your travel expenses. Because you only need pretty much $1,000 every month to actually live the way I live. So uh, we're gonna cover it over there, and I uh, see you in the next vlog. Peace.